Good morning and welcome to Athletic Stretch. My name is Nikki. Um, so for this class, you will need some kind of support. If you have blocks, blocks are great. If you don't, you can always use um, books or water bottles or anything that's kind of sturdy. Um, at the end, when we use the blocks for some extra support underneath our low back, you may want to grab a pillow or a rolled up blanket or something like that for a little more cushioning. Um, and if you are ever looking for blocks, you can get these at five below, five bucks a piece, or you can order them online, whatever feels good for you. So we're gonna set those to the side for now. We're gonna start in a nice seat. So you can sit cross-legged, you can have your legs long, whatever feels comfortable. You can soften your gaze or close your eyes. Just start to focus in on your breath. Feel free to place a hand on your heart and one on your belly if you want to feel your breath a little bit more. Or you can have them resting lightly on your legs. Whatever feels good. I decided to take the practice outside a little bit, so I need to kind of adjust a little bit more. Just start to focus in here on your breath. Notice how that breath feels as you inhale, filling your lungs, expanding your belly and your back. And notice how that breath feels as you exhale, starting to relax and let go. Take this little bit of time just for you. And I know it's really hard sometimes to let go of things going on in your life, thoughts, feelings, and they will pop into your head. But just think of wrapping them in a little bubble, letting them float away, and bringing your focus back to your mat and your body. We'll take about three more rounds of breath here. Nice big inhale through the nose. And a nice big exhale, and that beautiful sunshine's coming. Two more breaths. And one more round of breath. Feel free to keep your gaze soft or eyes closed. And on your next inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, take a nice twist to the right, letting your hands gently float down. Inhale, come back up to center, reaching for the sky. Exhale, take a nice twist to the left. Hands gently float down. Two more each side like that, just getting the spine nice and warm. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. And you want that twist to come from your waist. So your hips stay nice and square. You may not twist as much and that's okay. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to twist. And one more. Inhale up. Exhale to twist. Inhale back up to center. Exhale. Gently lean over to the right side. Let your right hand come down. And you can reach with that left hand. You can keep your hand here. You can reach it out to the side. Never feels good. You want to get a nice side stretch here on the left side. So think of pushing down into your hip and reaching with your fingertips. Chest stays nice and open. You can even put a block under your right hand if that feels good. Next inhale, come back up to center. Exhale over to the left side, bringing that hand wherever it's comfortable. Let's take one more breath here. Inhale, reach a little bit more. And then next, inhale, come back to center. Exhale, let your hands come down gently. And you can roll forward or swing your legs around coming into tabletop position. And I'll show you from the side. So I got my mat sideways. That way you can see different angles. Um, finger, uh, wrists are under your shoulders, knees are under your hips. Toes are untucked as you inhale, let your belly drop, head and hips rise up. 
exhale, press down into your mat and work your back up to the sky. Cat cow, feel free to take any variations of this pose, these poses that you'd like. If you want to sit your hips back and bring them forward, if you want to sway your hips side to side or do some barrel rolls. Whatever feels good for you. So this again is just getting the body moving, getting some movement going, getting the spine warmed up, starting to connect your breath with your body. So really think inhale, belly drops, that whole inhale. Exhale, start to arch your back up to the sky. Take that whole exhale for that arch. Let's take one more round of breath here in cat cow. And your next inhale, come back into a nice tabletop position. Tuck your toes, press your hips up and back. And find your way into your down dog. So down dog, you can have your knees a little bit bent. If that feels good, think of hugging your elbows in. Relax your jaw, relax your throat. Maybe pedal it out or move your hips side to side. Or come up to the balls of your feet and back down. Again, anything that feels good here. Keep bring your down dog. <coughs> Excuse me, you want to think of putting weight into your pointer finger and your thumbs. Pressing your chest a little bit closer towards your thighs. And again, those knees can stay bent if that feels good for you. On your next inhale, Glance up towards your hands. Exhale, walk your feet forward. Bring them a little bit wider than your hips and let your upper body hang like a noodle. So you can bend your knees if you'd like. You can grab opposite elbows if you want to sway side to side or let your hands hang down. This is one of my favorite stretches for uh, the back, the hamstrings and glutes, um, also the calves. You want to think of your head heavy like a bowling ball, just kind of hanging there, lengthening out the spine. From your hips to the top of your head is like a noodle, nice and relaxed. And you can bend your knees as much as you need here. We're going to take one more round of breath. And then heel toe your feet in just a little bit so heels are under your hips. Roll up nice and slow, stacking your vertebra one on top of the other. Head is the very last thing to come up. Inhale to reach up to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands down to your heart. Inhale to reach. Exhale, soften your knees and hinge forward, folding forward just like this. Inhale, look down through the feet and rise all the way up. Reach for the sky. Maybe open up your chest a little bit. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's do that two more times. Inhale to reach. Exhale, soften your knees, fold forward, hinging at the hips. Inhale, press down through your feet to rise up. Exhale, hands to heart. Good, one more time. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to fold. Root down through your feet and rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Good, inhale to reach up. Exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips. And then gently step back into your tabletop. So plant your hands and come back into that nice tabletop. Spine is nice and long, core is engaged. Inhale, reach your right leg back behind you. <clears throat> Exhale, sweep it over to the left side. Maybe glance over your shoulder. If you want, you can even plant the ball on your foot and push into your heel a little bit. We're going to take about two breaths here. And please listen to your body. Do what you need to do. Take variations, take pauses, whatever your body needs. Gently release that pressure as you press into the heel of your foot. And then sweep that leg all the way around, bringing your knee to your elbow. And exhale, sweep that foot down, back and over to the left. Inhale, sweep it through center, knee to elbow. Two more just like that. And bring it back through. And last one. And bring it back through. 
Uh, take that leg straight back behind you. This time plant the ball of your foot, push into your heel, and push yourself away from your mat a little bit with your hands. Take one full breath here, stretching out the calf and the sole of the foot. And then gently come back to that center and take your right foot outside of your right hand. So I'm gonna face you so you can see me this way. So you can stay here, you can grab your blocks, take your hands to the blocks, maybe come down to your elbows, maybe even lift that back leg if that feels good. You wanna keep your knee in line with your toes, so if you need to, you can heel toe that foot out a little bit if that's more comfortable. And we're gonna take three rounds of breath. If you'd like, you can bend and lengthen out the back leg, adding a little pulsing action. One more round of breath here. Good. If you lifted that knee, go ahead and set it back down on the ground. Come back up to your hands and you can keep this block here for some extra support if you'd like or whatever you have for your support. And you can just press your hips forward just a little bit. You can also reach back with your right hand. You can also bend that left knee and grab your foot if that's comfortable. It may not be and that's okay. Something to try. If you grab that foot, gently release it. Grab it and come back to center. And then as you exhale, you're gonna lengthen out your right leg. Maybe grab both blocks here. Lengthen out that right leg. Take your hips and bring them nice and square. Spine stays long. Foot is flexed, but you can bend your knee a bit if that feels good. If you'd like, you can take your blocks by your hips or bring them forward a bit. We'll take about three rounds of breath here. And also you can take your left hand to the outside of your right leg. Maybe walk it over a bit, stretching out the outer edge of that leg. One more breath wherever you're at. And then gently find your way back to center. As you inhale, come into that lunge. Exhale, lengthen out the right leg, flexing the foot. And three more just like that. Nice and slow, inhale to the lunge. Exhale to lengthen. All right, two more just like that. And guys, I'm kind of sweaty. I just came from teaching hot yoga. So please don't mind my little bit of sweaty appearance here. So let's bring it back into that lunge one more time. Take your blocks to your side. Plant your hands, step back to your tabletop position. Then tuck your toes and press your hips up and back to that down dog. Step or half your feet forward and gently roll up one vertebra at a time. Inhale to reach for the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale to reach. Exhale to fold forward. Step back to your tabletop position. Spine is nice and long, and this time left leg comes back first. And then sweep that leg over to the right side, maybe glance over your shoulder. Take a couple breaths here if you want to plant the ball of your foot and push into that heel a little bit. One more round of breath. All right, and then you're going to come back to center and sweep that leg all the way around from your knee to your elbow. Exhale, sweep that leg back, over to the right. Inhale, bring it to the center, knee to elbow. Two more just like that. It's just warming up the hips, keeping everything. Inhale, take that left foot back behind you, plant the ball of your foot. Push into your heel and push yourself a little bit away from your mat, reaching into your hands. We're going to take one more breath here. Go gently release that pressure. Then take your left hand outside of your right foot. And again, you can stay here. 
you can come down to elbows, you can grab a block or two. You can heel toe that left foot out a bit. You just want to keep your knee in line with your toe. Maybe even lift that back knee. We're going to take three rounds of breath here. You guys, please, please, please use your props. I know some people look at props as a weakness, but your props are like your friends. They're here to help you up. They're here to give you um, help. They're here to give you height, to give you support, to help you get into poses that you normally can't. Um, so blocks, bolsters, and straps, always your friends. Good, if you lifted that knee, go ahead and lower it down. Come on up. Come on up to your hands and then maybe grab both blocks and lengthen out that left leg, flexing your foot, bringing your hips nice and square for your half splits. Take a couple breaths here. Maybe you're here. Maybe this knee is bent for less pressure on the hamstrings. Maybe you walk it forward a little bit. Know that each side of your body is different each and every day. So one side might look and feel different than the other that's pretty normal. On your next inhale, come into that lunge. Exhale, lengthen out the left leg. Good, three more just like that. Inhale into that lunge. Take your time, use your whole breath. Exhale to lengthen out. Two more just like that. And I'm trying out some new earbuds. So hopefully they work well. As you can see, that left one kind of fell out of my ear, which is pretty normal. My left ear seems to be a little bit smaller than the right, and I have problems keeping earbuds or AirPods in. On your next inhale, come back into that lunge. You can set the blocks aside. Step back to your tabletop. Tuck your toes and press your hips up and back for that down go. Step your feet forward. And then roll up nice and slow. Stack your vertebra one on top of the other. Inhale to rise all the way up. Reach for the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Good. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to pull forward. And you can still soften those knees. Inhale, lift halfway. We're going to grab a block here. Spine is nice and long. Knees is down at your mat so your neck stays long on your spine. And then fold forward. Your hands step back into your tabletop position. All right, tuck your toes, press your hips up and back for down dog. Lift your right leg, it does not have to come very high. Okay, these might be a problem for you. Uh, lift that left right leg, it doesn't have to come very high. You want to take toes down, hips are square to the ground. Soften that right knee a bit. Bring your left knee into your chest, curl your back, step that, or your right knee into your chest, curl your back, step that right foot forward, and then plant your left hand to the block or the ground. Right hand comes to your hip or the sky, or maybe even wraps around your low back. You want to open up your chest and your shoulder a little more, keeping that right knee in line with your toe. Option to lower the left knee for extra support. One more breath here. And if you brought that hand down as you inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, let the right hand come inside of your left foot. Turn in your uh, left heel and then left arm reaches to the sky. So chest is nice and open. Maybe even take that arm to ear or arm around your back. Press into the outer edge of your back foot. Shoulders are stacked. And then gently rise up into your warrior two. So you're gonna lift that left hand and come on up into warrior two for that right hand. Good, so your chest is nice and open. All 10 fingers are strong, rooting down into both feet. Think of keeping your tailbone in line with your spine. So it's really easy for those hips to press back. So think of engaging the 
lower abs. Bring your spine in line. Gaze over your right fingertips. You can give a little wave. And as you inhale, lengthen out your front leg, reach to the sky. Exhale, bend that front knee, arms open back up into a warrior two. Two more times like that, inhale to reach. Exhale to open. One more time, inhale to reach. Exhale to open. Pause as you inhale, reaching with all 10 fingers. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to frame your front foot, turn up the back heel, step back to down dog. Good, step or half your feet forward. Halfway lift, remember that long spine, gaze is towards the ground and fold. Inhale to rise up, reach for the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale to reach. Exhale to fold. Halfway lift, fingers can come to a block, your shins or your thighs, and fold. Plant your hands, step back to your tabletop. Tuck your toes and press your hips up and back for down dog. This time, left leg lifts. And it doesn't have to come high. Toes dial down towards the ground. Hip bones face the ground. Bring that left knee into your chest, curling your back. Lift up the right heel. Step that foot forward. Plant your right hand on a block or the ground. Right hand up to your hip. Side left around your back. So lots of options there. We're going to take about three rounds of breath. Option to lower your back knee if you need some extra support here. Trying to remember which leg I'm on. Good. Next inhale, bring the hands up to the sky. Exhale, bring that hand inside of your uh, left foot. Turn in the right heel. Right arm reaches up. And again, you can have that block there for some support. Press into the outer edge of that right foot. Maybe take your arm towards your ear. We'll wrap it around your back. And on your next inhale, Rise up into that warrior two, gently lifting up. Finding that warrior two, knees in line with your toe. And again, tailbones in line with your spine. Chest is open, all 10 fingers are equally strong and reaching. I always like to say like you're shooting lasers out of all 10 fingers. Inhale to reach for the sky, lengthen out the left leg. Exhale back into warrior two. Good, two more like that, inhale to reach. Exhale to open up. One more time. And warrior two. Pause as you inhale, reach for the fingers a little more. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to frame your foot, lift up the right heel, and step back to down dog. Good, step or half your feet forward. Halfway lift, long spine, and fold. Inhale to rise up, reach for the sky. Exhale, we're going to come down into our chair pose. So arms are your choice. I like mine in my heart. And you're just going to sit your hips back. The spine stays long. It's about 75% of your weight goes into your heels. So you have about 20% in the balls of your feet. You can wiggle your toes. You don't have to come low, but you want to keep the spine long. So it's very easy for this tailbone to tilt out. Think of engaging these lower abs lengthening that tailbone out. Hands can be here, they can be here, they can even be here if that's comfortable for you. And we're going to hold one more breath. I know everyone loves chair poses. Good. On your next inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale to fold forward. Halfway lift to that nice flat back. And fold. Step your right foot back. And walk your hands around to the right side. Grab a block if you would like some support. So from here, you're going to turn your toes out slightly. Heels come in slightly. And as you exhale, walk your hands over towards your right foot, bending your right knee. And this might be where you're at today. This is a great place to be. Maybe your heel pops up. Maybe your left toes pop up you come onto your heel and your hips sink down a little more. So everyone's body is different. 
listen to your body, see what feels good, see what doesn't feel good. We're gonna take one more breath here. And then we're just gonna move with our breath. So it, or we'll go to the other side. Inhale to lengthen up and come through center. Exhale, walk over to that left side, bending your left knee, finding that sweet spot on this side. And it disappeared from the camera. Good, take a couple breaths on this side. Still working on the best angle out here. Um, I haven't been filming outside. I haven't been filming in a while for classes, so for videoing. So uh, still working on that angle there. On your next inhale, come back through center. Come and move with our breath now. Exhale over to the right, bending that knee, finding that sweet spot on this side. Inhale back up through center. Exhale to the left. Again, take your time. Move with your breath. Let your body just be in continuous motion like your breath. One more time, each side. On your next inhale, come back to center. Bring your fingertips to the block or the ground. Lift halfway to that flat back. Take your hands to your hips and rise up. Turn your right toes, or turn your left toes to the front. And step your right foot about halfway up the mat. And turn your hips to face the front. So we're gonna come into pyramid pose and you can grab both blocks. The right, or the left foot is forward, right foot's about halfway back so your heel can still be on the ground. Take your hands to your hips and take them nice and square to the front. So keep your hands here this first time. You want to think of lengthening up through the spine and then gently folding forward, keeping your hips as square as you can. So spine stays long, hips are square. When you start to feel that right hip pulling back, pause where you're at, pull back on the left hip, maybe stay here. Maybe take your hands down to your blocks or your other support. You just want to find, again, that sweet spot that you can feel a nice stretch in the back of your leg, maybe elsewhere in your body, but nothing sharp or painful. We're going to take about three more breaths here. I know this one can be intense, so feel free to soften this knee. Feel free to come out of it anytime you need to. Good, and then you're going to gently soften that right knee and step your right foot up to the left. You can set the blocks to the side. Inhale to rise up. Exhale, hands to heart. Good, inhale to reach. Exhale to fold. Halfway lift, nice long spine. Exhale to fold. Plant your hands, step your left foot back behind you and walk yourself around to the left side. Coming into that wide-legged forward fold, and again, you can grab a block here. Toes are your choice on the side. They can be facing forward, they can be in a little, they can even be out a little if that's comfortable. You're gonna bring that block under your gaze. And you're gonna plant your right hand under your shoulder onto that block. So, uh, wrist, shoulder, and then reach up with the left hand shoulder set. So you can stay here. Again, take the hand to the hip or wrap around your low back. We'll be here two rounds of breath. What a beautiful day out today, isn't it? Next inhale, reach up. Exhale, let that left hand come down. Plant your left hand underneath your shoulder. Right hand comes to the sky or your hip or around your low back. And take a couple breaths here. Next inhale, reach up. Exhale, plant that hand, and we're just gonna move with our breath. Inhale, left fingers reach up. Exhale, hand comes to your hip or low back. Inhale to reach back up. Exhale, let your hand come down under your wrist. Inhale, right fingers reach up. Exhale, hand to hip or your low back. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, bring it down one more time each side. Inhale, left hand reaches up. And then hip to low back. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, bring that hand down. One more time, right side reaches up. 
hip or low back. Inhale to reach. Exhale, let the hand come down. Just like on the other side, bring your fingertips to your block or the ground. Lift up to your flat back, hands to the hips and rise up. Turn your left toes to the front. Step your right foot about halfway up the mat and turn your hips to face the front. And if you want, you can bring your blocks with you. So that right foot's in front. Your feet are about hip distance apart, so there's space between them. Hands to your hip bones, lengthen up through your spine, and then slowly start to hinge forward. Good, and again, find that sweet spot. If you feel the left hip pulling back, pause where you're at, pull back on the right hip. Feel free to soften the knee if you need to, and we'll take about three breaths wherever you're at. your next exhale soften both knees step the left up to meet right inhale to rise up exhale hands to heart good inhale to reach exhale to fold forward okay soften your knees and come down into a seat you can have legs long sitting up nice and tall feet are flexed but knees can be a little bent if that's comfortable for you we're going to take our blocks or whatever you have for support and we're going to take them maybe about at your knees or your calves, whatever's comfortable for you. Lengthen up through the spine and then start to walk yourself forward. Keep your spine nice and long. So what we'll do is seated forward fold. A lot of times we just collapse the low back, trying to touch our nose to our knees. So you really want to keep that spine nice and long and straight so you may not come forward as much. And take your time gently walking forward, keeping the spine long. And you may feel that a little bit more in your hamstrings and your glutes. And we're going to take about three breaths here. Again, feel free to soften the knees for less tension on the hamstrings or the back. One more breath here. And then gently walk yourself back up. So now we're going to come into butterfly. So you're going to bend both knees and bring the bottoms of your feet together. And this may not be comfortable for you. So you can let the feet fall open just a little bit. You can also take a block in between them to help you a little bit more. Inhale and lengthen up through the spine. Keep it nice and long and then gently fold forward again, keeping the back flat. And you may not come very far and that's okay. You can also take that other block right here and maybe rest your forehead on it or rest your elbows on it if that's comfortable for you. We're going to take about one more breath here. Just gently opening up the, the groin a little bit more and gently rise up. So we're going to stretch the outer hips a little bit. And you can come either into cross-legged with the right leg in front or if it's comfortable you can stack that right leg on to the left. You just want to make sure you're sitting up nice and tall and your chest is open. Take a block for support and bring it in front of you and then slowly start to walk or slide that block forward. Try and keep your tailbone glued to the mat and your spine long. So again, you may not get very far with this one and that's okay. If you sit a lot or you're in a car a lot, this is a really great stretch to do. But also, if you sit a lot, you may not be able to get very far because these muscles really tighten up. So let's take one more breath. And then gently walk your fingers or slide your back. Walk back into your shins. And we'll switch sides. So just kind of lean back and switch. Left comes in front for cross-legged or on top. For stacking, sit up nice and tall. Glue the tailbone down to the ground and then walk your fingers or slide your block forward, keeping the spine nice and long, and take a few breaths here. So again, you might not get very far. You can also take that block, rest your forearms on it as well. We'll take one more breath. And then gently bring that block towards your shins and rise up. Set that block over to the side for now, but make sure it's uh, where you can reach it 
You're gonna bend your knees, plant your feet, make sure you're about halfway down on your mat and gently roll down onto your back. And I'm gonna close my eyes because I have this beautiful sunshine in my eyes, but you're gonna bring your right knee into your chest, give it a little hug, and then you're gonna take that leg and lengthen it out. So if you have a strap, and I should have told you to, to bring a strap with you, you can wrap it around your thigh or your calf. You can also lengthen out the left leg for a little more intensity in your stretch. But most importantly, you wanna keep that leg long, maybe a slight bend to the knee. You wanna try and keep your shoulders and your head nice and flat onto the mat. So that may be if you're not reaching up here, knee to nose, but again, like with our seated forward fold, spine stays long. And maybe draw some little circles with your ankle to stretch out the calves and the ankle. If you're drawing those circles, go ahead and reverse them. And then bend that left knee and plant your foot if you straighten it out. Take your right ankle in front of your left thigh, coming into a nice figure four. Foot stays flexed here, you can stay right here. Or you can start to bring your legs in towards your chest, keeping both feet flexed. And again, you don't have to reach for that thigh to pull yourself up. You want to keep the spine long, shoulders, and head nice and flat on the mat. Take about three breaths here. This is reclined pigeon. This is a wonderful uh, stretch, and it's a great variation on pigeon that we traditionally see. So a lot of times if you go to the studio, you'll see a uh, half pigeon where people are down like on the stomach, basically, one knee in front and one leg behind. But this is also a great variation of that pose. Gently set your left foot down on the mat if you lifted it. Take your arms nice and wide. And as you exhale, let your legs fall over to the uh, right side. Inhale, come back up the center. Exhale over to the left. Inhale, come back to center. I think this is a nice little massage for your, for your low back. You're just rolling through that low back side to side. Again, moving with your breath. So your body's in constant motion because your breath is constant. Exhale over to the left. And feel free to move with your breath that may be different than mine. We're going to do one more each side and we'll pause when we take those legs over to the left side. So as you come to the left, you're just going to pause here, maybe even let that right knee fall forward towards your elbow or maybe cross a uh, reset knee and stack it onto the left, whatever feels comfortable for you here for your twist. You can even glance over your right shoulder. And again, I have that sun in my eyes, so my eyes will stay closed here. On your next inhale, come back up to center. And let's switch sides, bring both knees into your chest, give them a little bit of a hug. Set that left foot down, or that right foot down. Bring that left knee into your chest and lengthen out the leg. And again, you can put a little softness to this knee if you need to. Right leg can lengthen out or stay bent. Shoulders and head are relaxed down into the ground. Maybe draw some little circles with your toes. I mean, with your ankle. Go ahead, reverse it if you haven't. And then we're going to bend that right knee. Set that foot down. If you lift it out. Left ankle comes in front of your right side, foot is flexed, you can stay right here, keeping that knee and hip open, or you can start to bring your legs into your chest for that reclined pigeon. Please let me know how, uh, if you like this class, you can respond on the YouTube video, you can respond to me on my um, Instagram, which is at S-I-T-N-I-K-K-I-S-T-L, or on my Facebook page, if you like Facebook, it's the same, at F-I-T-N-I-K-K-I-S-T-L, um, at FitNikkiSTL. Let me know if you like this class, let me know anything you'd like to see different, or if there's a specific area that you would like a little more stretch to, I can help you out. Go 
ahead and lower that foot if you lifted it up. And then as we exhale, this time we're going to go to the left side first. And then come back to center. Exhale over to the right. And come back to center. Uh, two more times each side. Again, moving with your breath. See how that feels. Sometimes that's comfortable, sometimes it's not. Just nice deep breaths. Again, trying to keep your focus on you and your mat and your body and just letting any other thoughts float away. Gently bend your knees, plant your feet, lift your hips and slide that block out. And we're going to use two blocks for this last pose. It's a supported heart opener, one of my favorites. You're going to lift up slightly, you're going to take one block, long way from the lowest level, take it below your neck, between your shoulder blades. Then you're going to take your other block on the second height and put it underneath the back of your head. You may have to kind of play around and see what feels good and what doesn't. Your knees can be bent or legs long, whatever feels good, but you want your, and my ponytail's right where I'd like it to be, you want your arms to be out nice and wide, elbows resting down on the ground. So while we're here, and again you can soften your gaze or close your eyes, I want you to imagine that your body is starting to melt over. Your chest is gently relaxing and releasing. Your low back, your upper back, shoulders, arms, wrists, hands, hips, everything. Relax your jaw, relax your tongue and your eyelids. We're going to be here five more rounds of breath. This is also a really great pose if you have a bolster. <clears throat> which is like a nice kind of oblong cushion and you'll put it right here against your low back and just kind of lay on it arms and So we spend so much time of our lives on our computers, on our phones, driving, just kind of hunched over. But this is a great way to open everything up, relax everything. Open up your chest, open up your heart space. Our heart space is uh, where we give and receive kindness and love so it's nice to have everything open and relaxed, ready to give and receive. Now 
Um, this feels really awesome. You can stay here with the support. If not, you can gently lift up and slide your flaps out and find a more comfortable position. So I always like to leave you with your own Shavasana so before um, we end class. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. Please reach out, let me know what you think. Please share with your friends. Let me know if you'd like more of this or anything else or if there's anything I can help you with. I'm going to leave you to rest in your Shavasana, uh, which again can be arms wide or anything else that's comfortable for you. And just take as much time as you need to let your mind and your body rest and relax, to reset, to digest, whatever you are needing. And if you'd like, you can go ahead and turn off the video. Um, I should have told you that before you got fully comfortable. That way it doesn't skip to another video and interrupt your rest time. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you tuning in and I appreciate all your feedback. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you friends.